Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to our Monday tutorial. Today I wanted to do another project using the Awesome Otter stamp set from the Celebration Catalog that's coming up in just a short week. Um, super excited about this one. Can't show you the inside yet. It's, it's, it's um, top secret. But this is one of the adorable stamp sets, and then I'm going to pair it with another one of our products in the um, Celebration Catalog, and this is called Simply Marvelous Designer Series Paper. So it's it has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think six different colors. Um, I have them kind of mixed up a little bit. <laughs> but there's six colors in here. And um, one side is kind of a marbly, and then the other side is this gorgeous, it, al it almost looks like satin, you know, satin fabric um, piled up with the light shining, but it also looks kind of like water. So very pretty, this is really elegant. Love the purple. Aren't those gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to use the darker blue one today on my project. And I'm going to use the, um, the satiny, watery looking one, paper. So we're going to make a fun little spinner card. So I'm starting out with um, Knight of Navy. This is just my card base. And the, you could also use Midnight Muse, which I think is actually the color they have listed. Um, oh no, not, that's an old one, sorry. Yikes, I don't know where that came from. Um, Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight, but I uh, wanted the dark one. So I love Night of Navy. Okay, so I have two pieces of white. They're the same size. They're four by five and a quarter. So on one of them, I'm gonna just put it inside for my sentiment. And I don't think I'm gonna write anything now. So I'm just going to adhere this in and leave it blank so we can write whatever we want later. Okay, so then on this one, I have cut a piece of this designer paper, uh, just slightly uh, smaller, like it's this is four by five and a quarter, so this one is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, so it's just one eighth inch. Um, shorter on the two sides and I'm going to adhere this right here I just want a little bit of that white kind of helping to make it pop it's pretty close to centered <laughs> maybe not perfect but that's okay okay so to do a spinner card we need to make a channel so we don't have our skinny you know, label punches anymore, but we do have this die, which will, even though it's long, it's gonna be perfect. And this is from the All Dressed Up dies, which is, it's the purse handle. This makes a little purse and this is the handle. So we're gonna use this to cut our channel for our spinner card. So let me show you how we do that. And I'm cutting through both layers because this is, you know, designer paper is not super thick and I wanted a little bit of weight to it, so I that's why I glued it onto the white first. So let's grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, so I'm gonna lay this down, and we're gonna just cut half of the channel at a time. So we're gonna lay this down. I don't want to go all the way. Let's see if that looks centered. I believe in eyeballing it, so that looks pretty close to center and fairly straight. So I'm just gonna roll that through about halfway. Okay, you can take that off so you see it's cut part of that. And I'm gonna flip it, and you can kind of see it just popped right into where it was cut before, but I'm gonna scooch it back just a hair. Okay, so you can feel where um, where it, we cut before, and now we're just gonna cut the other side, about halfway. Look, it 
cuts out a perfect channel. So easy. Okay. Now you can save that for something. It's got the stitched rectangle, so super cute. It's pretty thin, but you could use that for something else. Okay. So next, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Um, I'm going to do, I am going to use my embossing buddy. We're just going to do a very quick and easy white embossed sentiment. I'm gonna, going to use You Are Otterly Awesome with some Versamark ink and stamp it kind of down here where it's darker so that the white powder, once we heat it, will just kind of pop. All right, let's, uh, this is my white embossing powder. Where did I put my stamp? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, I see something shiny, it's right here. I got it all turned around. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let's heat this really quickly. It takes just a few seconds for it to, to get heated up and then it embosses pretty quickly. Okay. This is a very simple card, but it, it's, it's very fun and, and interactive. Okay. So um, we are going to, now we could put this on just like this. But I want the channel behind to look like the water. And now it won't be perfect, but this was extra that when I cut off from my six by six paper, it was left over. So I'm just gonna stick this on to the card front so it, my channel won't, will be the same color or pattern as my, uh, the front of the card. So I'm looking for my adhesive. <laughs> Here it is. You know how you just, you know, set something on your desk and you immediately can't find it? That happens to me a lot. Okay. All right, so we're gonna stick that down and then we are going to make our spinner part before we put this down. So you can, I just uh, punched a couple of circles. We have dies that um, have circles in them. It doesn't really matter what size, it just has to be smaller than what your image is gonna spin. So I just used a couple of the three quarter inch circles and we're gonna use some mini dimensionals as soon as I find them because I had them just a moment ago. Mini dimensionals, here they are. All right, I'm gonna take two. So I'm gonna put one right pretty close to the center, <laughs> I said center. Try to get in the center. I'm gonna put one in the center of my circle that I'm going to stack this one right on top of it. So there's two layers. And then I'm just going to put this over and try to get that centered. And we're gonna pop the other one right up on top. Okay, so now we have the two circles with a double layer of uh, mini dimensionals in the middle. So it should slide real easily. All right, so next we're gonna flip it upside down so we see where that is, and we're gonna use our adhesive strips. So I tend to cut, cut my adhesive strips for class to the size I need them, so I'll often have extra. So I wanna make a channel. I wanna give it enough room to spin but I wanna support it so that it gives it plenty of support so this is free to spin inside. Now I know this is a little bit long, so I'm just gonna cut that off and stick it in the corner. And then we'll do another piece. Whoops, I don't want that there, I want it up here. Okay, you don't want it touching your circle because then uh, it could it could stop it from spinning at some point. We don't want that. All right, now I have some scraps of adhesive strips. I'm gonna use these to finish popping up 
this whole piece because uh, it's actually a little bit thicker than uh, dimensionals. So I want it all at the same level. We'll just do one more since those are small up there. And this is just, this is just scrap. Okay. Let's peel all these backings off. satisfying sound peeling that off okay all right let's flip this over we're gonna center this right on our card front hopefully centered okay so we still have some we want to make sure that that is loose and ready to slide so we're still good there Isn't that cute it's just so pretty like it is, but uh, we do have to add an otter on there. <laughs> we need something. Okay, so I'm going to use the, did I get my otter out? Here it is. We're going to use the one that's laying down holding the little fish. Isn't it cute? Okay. There we go. All right, we're gonna color him, and I'm using the light crumb cake for the inside. A little bit right there. All right, I'm gonna use light basic black. That's it, yep, light basic black for the nose. All right, then we have dark crumb cake for the rest of the body. And it's pretty small, so I'm not worrying about any shading. You can go back a little bit and do some extra shading if you want. I'm just getting them colored. But I do love these markers. Everything looks so smooth and neat. And I love that it has two tips too. Okay. Toes. We're gonna cut him out so you don't have to worry too much about your outside lines. Okay. And then I'm using, uh, what color is this? Balmy blue, I'm using some dark balmy blue for the fish. I felt this was pretty close to some of the blue in here, the paper. And then I'm going to do his head a little bit darker. Go over a little bit more. All right. So next we have to cut him out. Snip, snip, snip. There he is, all cut out and ready to go. So we're going to just pop him up right here on our spinner. Okay, we just want to make sure the white doesn't show. So that's why you need your circle to be smaller than whatever your image is here. And let's just add a little wink of Stella to our fish, because fish can be sparkly. And if you want, you could add some wink of Stella to your background. I'm not gonna do that right now. And that's it, look at that, watch. Okay, let's get them going. Gotta go at an angle. Whoop, he can slide. All right, come on, I know you can spin. <laughs> the trick is to get it going on the spinning. Oh, there we go, we gotta go at the right angle. Come on, go, go, go. Sometimes you can add a little weight or a penny to kind of help with the spinning. But on my first sample, he was going all over the place. Spin, I tell you. <laughs> we could do a spinner card too. Wouldn't that be cute? I'm flicking him around. Okay, so spinner, slider, whatever you want to do. There he goes. We gotta we gotta get him moving. I think it helps to have it so he can hit the side. 
All right. So anyway, <laughs> you get the drift. Here's the first one I did. I forgot to put the paper on the inside. And he's spinning pretty well too. Cute. Isn't that fun just to send to somebody and then you could put a, it's birthday time on the inside. Super cute. All right. That is it for today. Um, I will post the supplies and the measurements in the link below link below on my blog and uh, make sure to click subscribe we'll have another featured product next week or on thursday and um thanks so much and i will see you soon all right bye everybody